Welcome back to Click Capital, everybody. In today's video, I want to share with you a new technical trading concept that I've created called Signal Candle Entry Candle. And this can be used to identify short term technical based trades and something I've been using myself for a little while, but I've never shared it publicly. And this concept can be used by any type of trader, whether you're a day trader, swing trader or investor, and it can be used on any asset, whether you're into stocks, Forex, crypto, futures, whatever it may be, wherever you are in the world. My concept of signal candle entry candle applies to all assets and time frames that's because price action principles are the same across all asset classes no matter what when you understand what the candles are actually telling us instead of just remembering patterns and so this new concept i'm about to show you signal candle entry candle i haven't seen anywhere else and you can google it you won't see it mentioned anywhere and if you do it's because somebody's copied it from this video so check the time date stamp on anything else and compare it to this video. I've also looked for the same concept, but named it differently and I couldn't see it. And if you have a trading community or publish content online, you're more than welcome to share it with others. All I ask is you credit this channel here, click capital when you do. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how this concept works right here on the charts. And I'm gonna give you a few examples across a number of different popular assets. So first, let me start off by explaining what a signal candle is. And so there's a couple of candlestick patterns I've found to work best and give us the most obvious signs of the market's demand and supply. And the first of these patterns is the simple long white candle will be open near the lows and close near the highs. And the opposite a long black candle will be open near the highs and we end up closing near the lows probably the most plain vanilla bullish and bearish candlestick pattern you can get and its original japanese term where technical analysis originated 400 years ago is marabuzu which they can also be known by the second type of candlestick pattern i look for the signal are engulfing patterns and for a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern that's the market opening lower than where it closed yesterday potentially trading below its low as well and then we end up closing above the open of the prior candle and thus that candle is engulfing the previous one and vice versa for bearish engulfing the market gaps up may trade up then has a swift reversal trades down and closes below the prior candles open the third pattern i look forward to identify a signal is that of a hammer where the market may already be in a downtrend it gaps down trades down lower then whips right back up and closes near its highs for the day and the opposite of a bullish hammer is a shooting star which is pretty much the same in reverse the market will gap up trades up and then reverses back to close near the lows and so like i said don't just focus on the actual pattern and what it's supposed to mean understand the underlying market dynamics and with all these patterns i'm looking for it to come after a big move in one direction so i'm looking for bearish patterns after a swing high and i'm looking for bullish patterns after a swing low and so what the market's telling us here is it sold off however a lot of buyers stepped in and the demand overwhelmed the supply and then we actually finished up on the highs for the day. However, I've found just entering right on these really obvious candlestick patterns quite often doesn't give us the best risk reward trading opportunities for those of us wanting to make a short term technical based trade. The market can often run away and far too often you have to have a big stop loss with a lower target. And so you want to try and understand what the market's doing in terms of demand and supply and just use candlesticks as a way to visualize that. And just diving back into the charts to give you some real life examples here we're just looking at the most traded ETF, the SPY, and that represents the S&P 500. And so here we can see a big bearish engulfing pattern. We gapped up, traded down and finished on the lows. And what else I look for to confirm it as being a signal candle is I wanna see a wide range. And like I said before, after a move in one direction, I also wanna see above average volume. And by average, I mean the last 21 candles. So we're looking at a daily chart here. So this gray line, is a 21 day moving average on the volume. And so I want a signal candle to have above moving average volume on a wide range bar. Okay, so that's what I call a signal candle. It's one of those strong candlestick patterns that I've found to work the best. However, if you entered short down here, it's not the best risk reward. So what I call an entry candle is a candle that occurs within the next five candles after the signal candle that's very low range on below average volume. And so the second candle is about a mid range and average volume. So that's not an entry candle, however, the second candle to occur was clearly low range and below average volume. This right here is what I call an entry candle. And that is an opportunity to enter a trade in the direction of the signal candle. And so the criteria for an entry candle is it must occur within the next five candles after the signal candle must be low range and below average volume. And you want to wait just before the market closes to see what kind of daily candle that it's going to print. And that's when a short trade would be entered. And another rule for the entry candle, it must always allow 
for a better entry price than the close of the signal candle. So if there was a low range, low volume candle down here, that wouldn't be a valid entry candle. It must allow us a better price to enter and it's basically a low range, low volume pullback to within the inside of the signal candle, but it also must never be above the signal candle. So any little candles above here or below here are invalid. And so not only do these low volume, low range candles provide for better risk reward setups, it can also signal a lack of volume in the opposite direction of the signal candle and could be a little bit telling of the move. So let me give you an idea of where you can set your stop and profit target. First off, you wanna use a simple FIB extension tool and you wanna draw it from the low of the signal candle to the high of the signal candle. And so if you wanted to use one profit target, you could use that at a 1.618 extension of the signal candle. That's basically 61.8% of this candle's range added onto the low. Another way you can do it is take off half there and take off half at 100% extension of that candle. And so let's draw a short trade setup here. So we'd be entering right near the close on the entry candle. You wanna put your stop just above the high for a short of the signal candle. However, if the entry candle was really close to the high, you wanna give it a little bit of more wiggle room and you have to use your best judgment for that depending on the volatility of the asset you're trading. So I'd say with something like the S&P 500, you should always give it at least 1% wiggle room. And so I'd put my stop up probably above this recent high here. And if you just wanted to use one target, like I said, that's a 61.8% extension of the signal candles range. And so this trade setup here offered a very attractive risk to reward ratio of two. That means we're looking to make $2 for every dollar we're risking. And if you wanted to take half off at the 61% extension and ride the other half to a full 100% extension, that bumps the risk reward ratio up to 2.7. And after you take half off, you'd wanna move your stop back down to entry for the remaining half. So we would have hit half here, moved our stop down to break even and rode the other half to our second profit target. So that's pretty much how a signal candle and entry candle setup works, along with where you can set your stop and profit targets. Another thing you wanna keep in mind as a general principle, is your reward should always be greater than the risk. So if for example, you had to enter in down here and use a stop like this, and the target was only here, giving you a risk to reward of 0.8, that wouldn't be a trade I would take. As a general principle, you always wanna try and make more than what you're risking. And that's why we're looking for a setup that allows that. Okay, so let me show you a few other examples on this chart and in a few other assets with some of those other patterns I identified as well. And also for those of you who have a premium trading view plan, as I do, that's their highest paid tier level. It is a little expensive. However, if you're a serious trader and investor, it is worth it. They have a new feature called volume candles. And basically that just makes it a lot easier to identify this concept of signal candle, entry candle, because it makes those candles with above average volume much fatter in width and low volume candles much narrower in width. So it helps us to identify this pattern in the market we're looking for. And I can see one right here. So unlike this signal candle, big long white candle, the market's showing its hand to us, the bulls are in control. However, it just gapped up and ran away. Didn't give us a low volume volatility pullback to enter in. However, this candle here did. So it's a long white bullish candle. We're breaking out on above average volume. That's our signal candle. The very next candle wasn't really low range. It was just below average volume. However, it's kind of a moderate range candle. However, the following candle after that was really low range, even lower volume. So the market's calling up. That's a good point for an entry. And it was just below the close of the signal candle. Remember, we want the entry candle to give us a better opportunity to enter than the signal candle. So let's work out what our profit target would be on this trade. Remember, we draw a Fibonacci extension from the high of the signal candle to the low of the signal candle. Then we want to enter long just before the market closes. We want to put our stop just below the low of the signal candle, always adhering to a minimum of 1% or more. And then we wanna check what a 61% extension gives us in terms of risk reward. It gives us 1.27. In other words, we're looking to make a buck 27 for every buck that we risk. And 100% target would be even better, 1.79. So there's another winning example, signal candle, entry candle setup that played out. Let's continue on to a few more examples. There's another example of a winning bearish engulfing pattern. That's the signal candle and this second candle afterwards. Low range, below average volume, given us a much better price than the signal candle. We'd wanna enter short here just before close and that would have easily hit our profit targets. Here's another one here. After a move down, quite often markets will consolidate and peak on volume at turning points. Got the big bullish white candle here. The next day was still above average volume, moderate width range. However, the second candle was much smaller on below average volume that allowed for a good entry and profit targets. And like I said, price action principles are the same 
across all assets and timeframes. So let's take a look at another popular asset, the Gold ETF Trust, GLD, and look for some examples here. And I can see one straight away right here. There's our signal candle, the market signaling to us that it's very bullish, buyers are in control, demands overwhelming supply. However, we want a low volume, low volatility pullback with inside that candle to enter, which we didn't get to the third candle. Low range, well below average volume, and let's draw the trade setup for this one. First, let's get our profit target using a FIB extension from the high and low of the signal candle. We wanna enter just before close on the entry candle, put our stop just below the low of the signal and check whether the risk reward is above one, which it clearly is here. 1.71 that was another winning trade as well there's another example there signal candle entry candle boom but there are other patterns in the market that you can look for to identify bullish and bearish turning points you just got to stick to those principles of looking for the market to show its hand to you and then looking for a low risk high reward trade setup okay let's move on to another popular asset apple so here's clearly a bullish candle signal candle one two three four five so the first small range day we got is actually closing below the low of the bullish signal candle so that's a trade we wouldn't take remember we want to enter inside the signal candle not outside it not above it not below it and let's look for some other bullish signals we've got none down here no other ones here that's a bullish signal but didn't pull back give us an opportunity oftentimes these patterns will just run away okay to switch in over to the popular traded stock in the crypto space coinbase and something i wanted to show you as well on a wide range signal candle like this one here and we'll just zoom in on this okay so this is clearly a signal candle the market's traded off the bulls have stepped in overwhelmed the supply and it's shot right up one two three four there's an entry candle low range, below average volume within the body of the signal candle. Okay, so first let's start with our profit target using the FIB extension from the high to the low. And then let's draw, and let's draw the long trade setup right before the close on the entry candle. We want to put our stop just below the signal candle. And if we were to put our target at a 61% extension, that would give a huge risk to reward of 3.7. And let me just increase that text size so it's easier to see for you. Okay, so that would be a risk to reward of 3.7. That's actually too big. Anytime you're going to have a risk to reward over two, that's going to really and dramatically lower your win rate because the market's not that easy. We can't just use really tight stops and big profit targets and expect to hit it all the time. Even though if we only hit that 30% of the time, it would still make money. Having a 30% win rate is a psychologically hard thing to do. It's better off to go for a win rate 50% or above. And ideally, a risk to reward above 1.2 but less than two as well. So if we were to set our profit target at the high of the signal candle or even the close of the signal candle, that would still give us a really healthy risk to reward of 1.5, which was actually hit before it otherwise would have hit the stop loss had we used a 61% or 100% extension. So that's something else to keep in mind when you've got a really crazy big signal candle is you want to keep your risk to reward most of the time under two or thereabouts. Anytime you want to go to a crazy risk reward, you have to be prepared for your win rate to dramatically drop. And for most people, that's a psychologically hard thing to do. So there you have it, guys. That concludes this tutorial on my new technical analysis concept, signal candle, entry candle. I hope you found some value in this video. And if you'd like to learn more from me, then head on over to my website, clickcapital.io and navigate to the course page where you can get instant on-demand access to my online trading course that's over 12 hours in length. And as a special gift for you, I've got a coupon code. So you don't have to pay the normal price of $349. Just enter in your email address, proceed to checkout, and in the checkout, click on apply coupon and enter the coupon code new concepts, click on apply, and that'll give you a $130 discount. So you only have to pay the one-time fee of $219. You'll get instant access to set up your account. I've got professional course hosting software so you can see your progress. You'll get a certificate at the end of the course, ongoing support and updates from me. And inside there's not only just technical trading and chart analysis concepts. I also show you how markets really work. Now anybody can use AI, algos and automation in their trading without the need for any programming or coding experience. I'll show you specific investments I've got and also 10 active trading and investing strategies backed by research, back tests, and real life examples. I'm your course instructor, Jared Mann, and I've been a full-time trader, investor, and business owner ever since I left my role at a large investment bank in 2008. I run a popular daily market review show every day on YouTube, and I'm happy to share my 
experience and strategies with thousands of active traders and investors all around the world. My online course is compromised of 25 different and separate modules. You can take at your own pace, watch in the comfort of your home and even stream to your TV. And so this is the formal financial and markets education that you never got. I'll teach you everything from financial markets history, how markets really work, managing and protecting your wealth, diving deep into technical analysis and all charting concepts, along with showing you other strategies of mine like short-term swing trading, spread trading, trend following and more. And so I guarantee you'll learn something new and valuable from my online trading course. Course. And so if you're interested in starting that, click the link below this video and be sure to use the coupon code new concepts to save $130 off and just pay $219 one time today. And that comes with a seven day money back guarantee, allowing you to watch up to half the course risk free and test it all out on me. And like I said, inside I share everything I've learned and experienced about trading and investing over the past 20 plus years that I've been an active trader. I've gotten heaps of good feedback and I'm sure you'll find it really valuable as well. So I'd like to encourage you to give it a chance and you've got seven days to test it out completely risk-free. So click the link below this video and head on over to my website, clickcapital.io forward slash course and get instant access today. I'm your course instructor, Jared, and I look forward to teaching you more concepts starting today.